What's good with my 3P family, man? Welcome back to the channel. Y'all already know the vibes. If you're returning and you're part of the family, dab me up, man. How you feeling, brother? Good? What's good with my sis? We gotta figure out something because I'm not finna twerk for y'all. So, y'all y'all out of pocket. Y'all out of pocket. Who, who? I think it was Christy said, that said that. I seen, I seen your comment and then you retracted. Shorty said, I ain't finna dap you up. You need to twerk for us. What is wrong with you? Like, y'all... Hey, y'all, y'all out of pocket. And, and and my dude that commented on my other video talk about, man, I thought you was talking about some other wood. Woo! Hey yo, <laughs> hey yo, y'all, y'all different. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, but I, I be seeing it. Y'all different. Y'all different. But look, we talking about debt. We talking about how I became debt free. How to do it? How did you do it, Monty? I thought you was lying. Sometimes you got to show them. So that's what I'm doing. Look, this is how I became debt free. I told y'all. I had a vision for myself. I wanted to be debt free within a year and two years. Between that time frame, I don't got time to keep paying interest on this card. So, step one, get your money up. Get your money up. Like, that, that's just what it is, man. Find a way to go get it. I'm a hustler. I was doing like three, four different side businesses, making money. I was I was grinding, bro. I was selling wood, not the wood you talking about off the OF. No, we're not selling that. But I was doing that business. I was doing drop shipping, the drop shipping business, and I was selling AirPods for the low. I was getting them from Metro PCS from my plug for fifty a pop, and I was selling them on um. Amazon and Timu for like 90 to 100 dollars because around that time AirPods was like what two something 160 that's a steal they getting 60 dollars off and I'm selling them 100 a pop but I'm only buying them for 50 a pop I'm making 50 dollars every watt you do the math and I'm and I'm buying them by 20s 25s so you do the math that's a cool little side hustle that I had I was buying wood from Home Depot, cutting it and selling in, selling um, cup coasters. Now that takes a little bit of time and a lot of y'all are don't have the time and y'all, I don't know, some of y'all just want stuff handed to you. That ain't how it work. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go find a way to go make some money. Simple as that. Been like that since I was little. I was selling candy in, in middle school. It got so bad in middle school, I was selling candy. I had to start hiring people to go sell the candy for me and putting them on payroll. Y'all think it's a game? I'll go find my, my boy Gage and ask him. He'll tell you. I'm telling you. It's no game. <laughs> Been like this for the longest. Then when it retracted in school, it retracted to me selling shoes and doing shoe restorations. When it got to that, I started making money, money in high school. I was doing shoe restorations and buying shoes and reselling them. I would go into thrift stores and find Jordans, fix them and sell them for more. I'm going to find a way to get it. <laughs> and I'm, I can show you proof of that, too, because some people always think I'm lying. I, I show proof with everything. So if you want proof, I'll do another video and show you proof. And because I, I have videos, so we could do that too. But what the point I'm making is find a way to get it. Find a way to get it. I ended up upping my income. Now I'm working two, three jobs. That's how I did it. Came up with a game plan to save up money and put money up. My game plan, y'all see it on my board. I was looking at it every day. Seven thousand. I was saving no, saving a thousand dollars to go towards my debt. Really, it was two, because <clears throat> you see it twice up there. And that's because I was saving a thousand dollars to go in my seven my savings, bam. And I was saving a thousand to go towards my debt. Bam. Done. Okay. Did that for about a year and some change. How do we do it? How do we do it? The dedication, bro. I'm telling you. Y'all see how many hours I'm putting in every week? Most weeks, minimum is about 70. That's minimum. That's not if I'm doing overtime. We're not even counting overtime. Minimum, I'm doing 70. 70-hour <laughs> 70 weeks. Okay? Most are 80. Okay? 80 plus. But they've been fluctuating because I've been calling off. I'm not going to lie. I need time to myself. And if you think I'm about to be working 100 plus hours, all these hours, and I'm, I'm gaining time off and not going to use my time off, you're delusional. 
<laughs> you're delusional. I don't give a damn if I'm using my time off to go watch Netflix. I don't care. I'm taking the time off. Y'all be all right. You easily replaced anyway. That's how I take it. Because that's pretty much what jobs do. Because I even had an instant where I came in for overtime. And one of my lead managers was talking about, oh, you in here today? I'm like, yeah. Oh, oh I didn't know you was coming in. I didn't think we was going to need your help. Oh, you didn't think you was going to need my help? <laughs> you shouldn't have told me that. Now, since I came in, I have the right to leave. I'm going to work four hours and then I'm going home. So at 12 o'clock, guess what Monty did? Went home. Oh, they was pissed. But you just told me you didn't need me, though. You got to watch what you say to people. And I have that right. This is overtime. Technically, I'm not even supposed to be here. Hello. <laughs> so look, that's how. You want to save money, come up with a game plan, and I put money up to the side for an achievable amount. $1,000, we could do that, bro. We could do that. 250 every week. Man, come on. We could do that. We could do that. That's easy. That's something easy I can reach. That's something obtainable. Not some outrageous where I feel like I got to not eat for this week. You know, we can, we good. We could do that. Boom. I did that. What else? Um, As far as upping your income, because a lot of people don't have time to be going to trade school. We don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. Bills need to be paid and they come knocking. They do. They need their money. Okay? It's not how it works. Go to trade school and then I'm broke still. Bills still need to be paid. That's the stupidest advice I've ever gotten. If I'm already in debt, why the hell am I going to go put myself more into debt? De you idiot. That doesn't even make sense. That's stupid. Well, in the long run, it'll pay off. Listen, bruh, we don't have long run. We need money now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like, I, I hate when people say that. Yes, if I wasn't in debt, of course, I'm gonna go to trade school and get money. Yes, up my skills, yes. That puts you more into debt. If I'm already in debt, why would I go into more debt? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, bro. <laughs> oh my God, becoming debt free, sorry. The next thing I did, once I became debt free, especially off these credit cards, bro, after that video, I went home and cut the credit card up. It's in the shredder, gone, finitoed. It's out of here. I'm not using that card ever again. Now, once I pay off this other one, which is coming next week, I'm gonna use that card. Reason being, I want to get my credit score to an 800 to an 850. That's probably going to take another three months to four months to do. And that's fine. The difference is Monty won't be spending that credit card over anything above 5%. I promise you. I will use that card to go get something to drink. I will use that card just like I told you. I will use that card to go get something to eat for $20. That's something I can spend. $20 out my check and I could spend that. I could spend that. But all these outrageous purchases, like I, I had booked, I used the card to book a flight, which I thought my miles was going to cover that, but they gave me the run around about that. So I had to chop that up and then pay off the card, which is fine. It's cool because now that I know this and I know how Capital One works, I got you. I won't be spending nothing over 5% on this car, I promise you. Because the way y'all got stuff set up, well, I ain't rocking with it. And it's all good. I still need my credit score to go up. So we're going to pay it off next week. And then we're going to use the card minimally. <laughs> minimally. Okay. Now, once mine hits about at 800, 850, I'm going to be good. Then I can cut up the credit card. And then we're going to move to the business aspect. Because once we get to the business and we get that booming with the credit score, man, y'all, I'm, I'm telling you. Life for me is gonna change and this channel is going to elevate. I I, pro, I promise you. You're gonna see me. I, I ain't even gonna spill it. Just just know we're gonna elevate. That's all I got to say. That's how you become debt free. You come up with a game plan like I did and put up some money. Up your wages. You wanna up your income. Gotta up your money, young bro. Up your money, young. Up your status. Okay? After you up your status and you get your money on right, you want to come up with a set thing. 
That's what I did. I came up with something set and achievable. A thousand dollars every month. We're gonna put it towards the debt until we pay it off. You could even do more. Cause that's what I did sometimes. Sometimes I did over over time. So I was able to put like 1500 down, pay it off, bam. You know, I did that. That's how you become debt free. It's possible, I'm telling you. 